Hi students, this is Karen Morrow from Hayes Steam Academy. Today we're going to be uh, creating a project that uses variety. It's one of the principles of design. And if you'll take a look at this picture right here of sneakers, they're all the same sneaker, but they're different colors. So there's a variety of colors. Here's another example of variety. Here's one right here with all people. This was like a paper collage, but the colors are all different. So there's a variety of color. Here's a variety of size and color of handprints. So there's a variety of size and color. Here's a variety of colors of flowers and shapes and sizes. And here's some peppers, variety of colors, shapes, and sizes. Lots of different varieties. So our project today, we're gonna to use a variety of lollipops. So I have displayed here a variety of colors, sizes, and shapes of different lollipops. So we're gonna draw some. Now let's get started. I'm gonna take this little paint bowl or water bowl and I'm gonna draw a circle or two with this one, just so I'll have some different sizes of circles. I do have a stencil here. I can draw a little bit medium size one, maybe some smaller ones, so I'll have a variety of sizes. Or if you don't have anything to trace, you can just draw them. I think right here I'll draw a square one. And maybe a small one right there. Okay, so I'm going to make this one like a swirl lollipop. And I might add a little bit of stripes going through it. So that when I start coloring, I can make it different colors. This one right here, I'm going to start here in the center and just draw some curved lines. And some of these, like the Tootsie Pop, they kind of have a band on them. And some of the other ones have uh, just some swirls and different colors. And now I'll draw the sticks on the lollipops. I'll make them coming from different directions. And there we go. And then I'll take a black marker and I'm going to trace all of my pencil lines so that my colors will really show up. And I'll continue throughout. After I finish with all the black outlining, then you can either use crayons to color in making sure to stay inside the lines. Or if you prefer, you could use markers. to color your lollipops. Taking your time. This is what my finished project looks like. I have a variety of different sizes, colors, and shapes of lollipops, but they're unified because it's all lollipops. 
I hope you enjoy drawing your candy, your lollipops, and be very creative. Good luck.